when we click on a cell, we want it to go to another view that shows the details about that data object. So I'm going to comment out what we just created in terms of showing the alert. Instead, I'm going to go to our main storyboard. And I'm going to create a segue between the, the cell, the prototype cell, and our view controller, which was our original view controller, by control dragging. And we will say show. So I notice that I'm getting a back button to go to the root view controller now that I've created the segue. I'm going to change that title of root view controller in the properties to just say movies. And now it'll say, the return button will say go back to the movies. Let's just test our app at this point. If I click a movie, it takes me to my view controller and I get the back button to go to movies. Now the view controller currently doesn't show anything. So we're going to create some views in that UI view and then we'll pass data from our table uh, view controller to the UI view controller. I'm going to zoom in on the view controller. I'm going to add a label up here at the top. We'll stretch the label out. I'm going to center the label. I'm going to give it a few lines and make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it a larger font and we'll make it bold. So I'm thinking bold, maybe about 21. This is going to be the title of our movie. I'm going to show the assistant editor so I can see the view controller Swift file. I'm going to create an outlet for that label. I'm just going to call it title label. And then we'll create a variable called get title. And it's going to equal a string. In the view did load, I'm going to say title label dot text equals get title. Now get title is going to be the title we pass from the movie table view controller. So now I'm going to go to the movie table view controller and we're going to scroll down. We're going to create a method for preparing for segue. So let's type in prepare and I can see from uh, the help here that there's a prepare for segue going to UI storyboard segue. I'm going to select that. So my code is going to be if segue.identifier equals detail segue, and we'll create that identifier when we set up our segue. I want to have it do something. So we'll say if let index path index path equals movie table view. I realize I don't have an outlet for that movie table view. So I'm going to jump over to the main storyboard here real quickly. I'm going to select the table view. Go to the movie table view controller, and I need to set up an outlet for the table view. So I'm just going to control drag, and we're going to call this movie table view. Okay, so now turn off the assistant editor, go back to my code, and now movie table view is being recognized. Index path for selected row. I want this to be index path for selected row. So I'm creating a delegate here. And the delegate is going to be let 
controller equals segue dot destination as view controller. So segue dot destination is going to be the view controller we're, we're segueing to. And then we can simply say controller dot get title. Notice that the help system is recognizing that got that dot get title from the other view controller. And I said that's going to equal movie index path dot row. That's going to be my index number. And what I'm going to get here is the title from that data. Last thing I need to do is come back to my storyboard and create the segue identifier. So if we created that segue. I just need to create the segue identifier. And what I specified in the code was detail segue. Okay, so let's test this again. And I'm getting the title of the movie I clicked on in my UI view controller. The next step is to transfer all the other data. I'm going to go back to my UI view controller and I'm going to add in some more controls. So I've added in labels for director, year, genre, and rating, and then a text view for the cast. I need to create uh, outlets for those. So again, bring up the assistant editor. I'll control drag outlets for director. So this will be director label. Then I'm going to create variables and what we did for get title. Get year. That's going to be an integer. Then in the view did load, we will do basically the kind of the same thing we did here with the title label. In the view did load, I have added code to take each of the get variables and display those in the appropriate label. In the case of the cast, I'm using a text view. I first clear that text view, and then I use a simple for loop to go through however many items there are in that cast string array and put one on each line with a new line character. So there'll be one cast member on each line of the text array. Now I need to go back to the table view controller and specify the various get variables from that controller with the data element from my movies array. All right, so I've set that up for each of the get variables from the controller, which is referring to our uh, UI view controller as part of the detail segue identifier. And that will transfer each of the data items from the movies array to that view controller. Let's test and see if this works. So now when I click on a movie, I go to the UI view controller, and not only do I see the title, I see the director, the year, the genre, the rating, and then the cast members populating that text view.